We're back again, the last prepayment adjusting entry. We still got pink ink. We still have to do an original entry and an adjusting entry. The company still has a December 31st year end, so we know what day we're standing in. They record adjusting entries annually, so that will help us determine the amount, and they use the balance sheet method. Number four. At the start of the year, the business has unearned revenue of $6,000. They had been contracted in December of 2019 to supply a customer with consulting services for the next six months, January 1st to June 30th, 2020. On November 1st, 2020, a new customer pays them $12,000 in advance to provide consulting services for the upcoming 12 months, starting on November 1st, 2020. All right, let's look at our chart because we've not done this before. All our previous entries were deferred expenses, but this is not a deferred expense. First of all, at the beginning of the period, we have a balance in our unearned revenue account. That's a liability. During the period, there's then an exchange between two parties. This is where we receive cash and we give away a promise to provide a service in the future. So when you look at this, this is a deferred revenue. As time moves on during the year, a good or a service will be provided, past tense, to the customer. At the end of the period, we're going to be able to record the fact that the liability has now been settled through the outflow of a service, and therefore we can recognize revenue. Let's do it. I'm just going to move the page down. We've got a balance at the beginning of the year, so I want to note down what that balance is using the T accounts. Unearned revenue is a liability account, and it's sitting at $6,000 at the beginning of the year. This is for services that will be provided from January 1st to June 30th. Now, on November 1st, 2020, a new customer gives us $12,000 in advance. We're going to provide consulting services to them in the future. So therefore, on November 1st, what did I get? Cold hard cash. An asset with future economic benefit. $12,000. What did I give away? I gave away a promise to give a customer a service in the future. An IOU called unearned revenue. $12,000. Update my T account. All right, we're now at December 31st and we have to determine what was earned. We have earned 100% of the $6,000 because by June 30th, we had provided 100% of the services. For the $12,000, we've only earned November and December 2020. So two months, we have to make a calculation. 12,000 divided by 12 months, multiplied times two months is equal to $2,000. Therefore, the total amount earned is $8,000, 6,000 plus 2,000. It's December 31st. What did we get? We got back our IOU. The customer, when we provided the services, gave it back to us, $8,000. So therefore, the unearned revenue reduces by the $8,000 because we no longer owe those services to our customer. What did we give away? We gave away a service, which gives us the right to claim revenue because we did our job. $8,000. If we enter this into our unearned revenue T account, we can see very quickly that we still owe services to our customer of $10,000. Let's just look at our statement of financial position and income statement. We now have a current liability. Unearned revenue, $10,000. We can also look on the income statement. We ended up with service revenue, $8,000. Let's see if we've matched our flowchart. There was an opening balance at the beginning of the period. Then there was an exchange between two parties which involved cash and unearned revenue. During the period, services were provided, past tense, and therefore at the end of the year, we could do an adjusting entry to recognize revenue and reduce the liability because we no longer owed that $8,000 to anyone. A Deferred Revenue Adjusting Entry